Hey, Dons fans. I am here with Elizabeth Moore, a junior triathlete from Knoxville, Tennessee. She's going into her junior year at USF. So Elizabeth, you come to San Francisco as a transfer from Transylvania University, where you were named 2018 All-American. You were a scholar academic All-American and you were freshman of the year. You finished first in the 2019 NCAA Eastern Regional, and then you end up being like national runner up uh in the collegiate national championships that's amazing so we're so lucky to have you at usf let's just kind of take me through how triathlon came into your life i know that you started off with swimming tell me a little bit about that so i swam all growing up year-round club i thought i was going to swim in college that was kind of my dream from like age 10 and then junior year of high school i kind of started getting burnt out i had some shoulder injuries and then my dad ran in college so i figured I might be able to run if I try. So I took on running summer before my senior year of high school. Was pretty okay at it. And then I was like, maybe I can put cycling with this and turn this into something I can do in college because swimming is basically out of the picture at that point. And I kind of put it all together senior year and joined a club in Atlanta, Georgia and trained with them. That's where it all started. First of all, you show that you were very successful because you were in the Junior Elite Cup you finished fifth in high school nationals. Just kind of tell me about that success and how that kind of brought you forward to Transylvania University. High school nationals was the spring of my senior year of high school. I hadn't really done, I had done one other draft legal triathlon, which is the format we do in college before that. And I was not expecting to do as well as I did. And it was kind of a shock to me. And I guess my parents as well, that maybe, hey, I could kind of do this in college and be okay at it. And it's pretty cool just to see the like rapid progression. Talk about the three different disciplines. I mean, people don't understand. I mean, you have to master three completely different sports. Yeah, it helps to have a background in at least one of them. And there is a learning curve, especially if you're coming from, depending on what sport you're coming from. Like for me, learning how to run was the hardest part just because it is so different than swimming and cycling kind of uses the same power as swimming. You're kind of just muscling through it. So let's go straight to, um, you know, your first event, the Triple Trine event. Talk about how difficult that is to transition between each, each discipline. So the Trine Triple Sprint was actually a pretty unique event. It involved three really short races over a period of three or four hours. So it was three mini triathlons and they were each a slightly different format in terms of the start. But in terms of transition, you need to like, once you start, you cannot stop for the next hour. There's no slowing down. And even like the slightest mistake in transition and you get lost from the pack and it's just you're playing catch up the whole time and it's just stressful. How important is that first race, the swim race? Oh, it's kind of crucial. The swim kind of sets the tone for the rest of the race. Granted, you still can't pull it together if you don't have a good swim, but a good swim is crucial if you want to set up the rest of the race. You just got to get out fast and try to hold on from there. There's several things when you race triathlon, but we do the sprint draft legal. What is that? It's swim, bike, run like a normal triathlon, but the bike is a little different. So in a normal triathlon, like an age group triathlon that like the average adult or person would do, you're not allowed to get super close to each other on the bike. So you have to leave a gap of six feet so you don't get stuck in like the, the slipstream of the person in front of you, which drastically increases how fast you're going and so in draft legal you want to be close together and you're allowed to like get really close and form packs like kind of toward a friend style like riding kind of aggressive and fast and that is so cool okay so speaking of bikes we have the footage of all of you girls in the locker room receiving all of your nike gear but the mm -hmm. bikes are sick just explain what kind of brand bike that is and and why it's so great i noticed the tires were a little bit different than normal bikes they have aerodynamic frames and lots of gearing and they're just super super light so you can just go really fast and then the wheels we race with um these thick carbon fiber wheels that are more aerodynamic and so the the rims are probably like inch and a half two inches deep and it just like helps you cut through the air faster and explain how you travel with these bikes they're in these enormous black suitcases yeah so they're absolutely massive and it's this big hard shot hard sided like shell that you put your bike in and you just kind of disassemble it kind of clip it into the case and just lug it everywhere it's loud it's noisy and it's definitely a hassle to get through the airport and everyone always tries to guess what's inside of it at tsa and just it's pretty amusing watching people look at us as we walk by with these big like 
three and a half by three foot cases. So let's just talk about the national championship last fall. Um, it, it's pretty incredible because you were injured last year, but you still finished 25th overall. What did you take from that whole experience? Um, and, and what do you want to improve upon? So last season was my best season. I had some injuries and just adjusting to the new training and lifestyle in San Francisco was definitely kind of a shock to my system. And I'm just happy that we finished and we had a good, it was the first year USF had ever competed in triathlon and like showed up on the national stage. So just to have like a presence was important and big. So it was cool just to show up with Kat and Louise and just kind of set the stage for the next couple of years and just leave our mark as the first USF triathlon team. And last year, you basically only had three athletes that were competing. In, in the back of your mind, were you thinking, okay, we're going to do our best to build the culture because we know that we've got a lot of freshmen coming in that are just going to like catapult this team to greatness. Yeah, last year was a lot of trial and error, just kind of figuring out how everything was going to work and just the logistics of doing triathlon in such a big city and all of that. And it was a good like trial year and just getting things up and running and prepared for this year when we have a great we have seven freshmen commit and they're all amazing and it's going to be awesome once everyone's here and on campus. You're getting to run in the polo fields and Golden Gate Park. You get to ride your bike on one of the most beautiful coasts and you're actually swimming in, I believe, the Aquatic Cove, which I don't know if people know where the Aquatic Cove is, but it's down there by Fisherman's Wharf. So just kind of talk about how great it is to have those at your fingertips. It's so beautiful. All of the training we do, it's amazing. and. Being able to swim in the ocean is something I never got to do growing up because I lived in Tennessee, Illinois. I was pretty landlocked my whole life. And just being able to see the ocean every morning is insane. And just, it is kind of cold, but once you get in, it's really beautiful. Sometimes we see seals and just, there's actually a lot of people who swim in uh, aquatic park every morning. There's always other people there and it's just really cool. And then the riding, we've gone over to Marin and rode around there. And that's like a fate, like, really famous cycling area. There's so many cyclists and just the views are amazing. Well, Elizabeth, thanks so much for spending time with me. I wish you the best of luck. Hopefully you get to compete in the spring, but um, I'm just looking forward to great things from you. Awesome. Thank you. It was nice talking to you.